Hello, this is Samuel from Action Figure Fury, and today I'm bringing a review of the Hire Toys AVP Masked Scar Predator. This is from the uh, most recent wave of the AVP figures by um, Hire Toys. I know that in the future we're getting an unmasked version of Scar and a final battle version of Scar. Uh, they're coming out later this year or early next year, not too sure when they're out, but this is the. Um, Basically, the hero predator from AVP, the main predator of them all, who it survives till the end, and um, it is the hero predator, basically, the film Scar Predator, and my personal favourite predator uh, from the film, not just because it's got the um, classic style uh, biomass like the original Jungle, Hunt, Jungle Hunter did, but it's an absolutely. Um, it's just how he, how he was in the film, it's really going to do like the, um, the weapons he came with and the weapons he used. And another big winner for me is that this one comes with the plasma caster. You can see it here. <laughs> I'm so stoked he has the plasma caster. It really does complete um, complete this figure, and he does look amazing on display. He looks really, really good. As you can see, I've got him holding the extended combi stick here, and I've got him on his little stand. I'll take him off there so you can have a case of gander look at him. This figure is at oh, last. Done it again. Very sensitive, my camera. So I just noticed that. Um, this figure is absolutely outstanding. Really, really impressive the details. You can see he's got the um, the blooded um, mark. Because obviously, when the predators kill an egg xenomorph, the first time they become blooded, and that's his emblem. You can see the uh, two parts of the uh, egg xenomorph there, which he blooded himself. And of course, he it goes on his head as well. It's on his actual head, on the weather bio mask. Really, really nice touch. They got that as a blooded version. Um, similar armor to Celtic Predator, and Celtic and Chopper. Um, I think Chopper had this thing down here, and Celtic. Yeah, Celtic didn't. I'm not too sure. I think he might just. I think it just might be with him. Scar has that. Um, I'm not too sure. Okay, I've got Chopper's box right here. I can always have a look at it. No, it might have just had, I think Chopper had it on the back, whereas Scar has it on the back and the front of him. Yeah, Scar has it, has the whole armour. Um, it's really, really good, he's got the close shuriken there, got the um, fire guards, shin guards, knee guards, boots, the shoes, loads of armour. Like just like hey we're an AVP and it does look fantastic I'm really really impressed with how this figure looks it's absolutely incredible see the detail there really really nice and the pounded metal and stuff really really good there you can see that's where the wrist computer would be it just doesn't want to focus today there we go, really, really nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't open or anything like that. You can see the good plasma caster detail as well. Really, really well done. Do love this figure as well. Of course, on the back as well, it does have this little clip right here where you can, if you're very careful, you can um, store the um, small combi stick, the closed version. If you're very lucky, you can do that. I have a bit of difficulty with that, so I haven't got it on here. I've got just on an extended version. Of the instead in his hand. Overall, very very nice. The netting is very clean as well. He's got his trophy necklace on. The skin tone looks great. All the details are there, and the paint job is exceptionally clean. Really really happy about this, especially as this is my uh, favourite predator from the film. Really really nice. In the way of articulation, uh, Scar has a ball jointed head, so he can go up quite a bit, not too far up down a little bit, rotate side to side again, it's only hindered by the shoulder plasma caster but you can move that speaking of the plasma caster you can move it just like the um, just like the oh you can't move it no it doesn't have the um, slide function, it's sculpted but it can't um, it can't slide on there unfortunately, I can try but I don't think it does slide no, it doesn't slide, it, it's stuck there. But, the plasma caster is articulated. As you can see here, it can rotate upwards, like so. 
not too far. This mine's a little bit tight, but you can get it up there, and you can get it down as well. Also, it articulates here. This top joint here articulates, so you can move it up and forwards, and it does rotate as well. So it's absolutely sweet. That is really, really good. Works perfectly, so you can get rotate in all directions, just like in the film. Really nice effect. You can see the where the plasma shots would fire out. Really cool. Um, he does have a ball jointed shoulders, just like the others, just like his brothers. A bit tight. Uh, I think it's just brand new. Uh, he has a bicep swivel as well. Uh, double jointed elbows. This also rotates at the gauntlet here. And ball jointed wrists. Um, also had the the uh, extendable claws and the wrist blades. You can go out and in. Not much, but you can, they, they can move, which is really, really nice. In the chest, he has a joint, but it's bit hindered by these straps in the middle and the back of the front of his chest so you can't really utilize them that well I'm sure you will be on the other versions um, where he gets a bit more damaged uh, he can't he cannot then therefore he cannot really he can rotate a little bit at the waist but not too much he's got board jointed hips so they go forward backwards um, out not too much and then it gets hindered by the leg armor he's got double jointed knees which is absolutely awesome and he's got ball jointed ankles which are hindered by the by the armor unfortunately that's not a, that's not a slight against the figure it's still an absolutely incredible figure again i'm really impressed with how higher toys managed to put in so much detail into these four inch scale predator figures is absolutely incredible these avp predators is amazing. I'm really, really astounded at what they were able to do at this at this scale for such an affordable price point. is a, is absolutely incredible, top tier stuff. Really, really impressed. I'm just trying to get him to stand up now. It's just been a bit cheeky for me. Yep, he just he does oh he does want to um, dive a little bit. Do you think if you just get him in the right pose like that, Bob's your uncle. He stands very, very well. Very happy with that. In the way of us accessories, so you can see kind of the extended combi stick in his hand, which I've shown before. He also comes with this um, base, which they have the connectors as well, which is really, really nice. Um, he also comes with interchangeable hands, which I've got here as well. These are very similar to all the other AVP Predator hands that you come with. You get an, um, a splayed open hand like this. This my camera was always a pain in the you got a splayed open hand. You got a um, semi sort of relaxed, semi holding hand. I'm not sure what this is for, but he has it all the same, which is nice. Um, he also comes with the Shuriken smart disc. Comes with that. This is a staple. All the AV, all the AVP predators have came with these. Holds it very well in his hand. He also comes with a closed version of the uh, combi stick which we have seen before does it very very nice uh, hi, uh, and he's shelf dived again uh, hi over again he also comes with which is a staple of all these AVP predators is the um, is the ceremonial dagger um, it's a little bit here so he's got all the serrated edges there Really, really nice. Yeah, nice little sheath to um, hand up to it as well. Put the predator down. Put the scar down. Oh, come on! Why is it? Oh, that's very, very nice. Looks great. Fits in the sheath very, very well. And I'm really surprised they gave us those at this scale. For such a small accessory. We can hold them. Uh, just like all predators can hold their, uh, their ceremonial daggers. Nicely comes with that.
I know that um, they've also got plans to race other predators from this film, such as the um, such as the Elder Predator and the Temple Warrior, which look awesome. I'm um, I, know, I know they did a um, a cloaked version of Celtic. I think it was cloaked Celtic. I'm not sure if they've done cloaked versions of um, Scar and Chopper yet. I'm curious to see those. That'd be really nice to see as well. I'm really curious to see how these um cloak these things looked in their cloaked form, which is you know, translucent plastic. They'll look really, really great. Um, I'll just give you some quite comparison now. I'll give Ed Park give it, get his brother Chopper. I mean, no, this is um Celtic. Uh, just so you can see the size differences between them, which aren't that much different. And he just knocked his brother over. Typical. Uh, just get him standing up again. There he is. There we go. Um, you can see the different height differences are quite uh, about the same height than they were about in the film as well. Similar height as well, so they look great together on display. When you get all three of them together on display, they look absolutely fantastic. Overall, I'm really, really impressed with this figure. Really, really happy with it. How they managed to um, do the predators like this, so well detailed at this small scale, is absolutely incredible. I'm simply blown away buy this figure it looks absolutely fantastic no complaints whatsoever about him at all just trying to get him back on the base just to get him fan standing up really really happy with this figure absolutely exceptional I don't think um, higher toys could have done better at this scale it's absolutely marvelous highly recommended if you haven't got the um, these figures yet these um higher toys AVP uh, figures yet especially with the predators they are well worth the money absolutely fantastic look great on display and the reason more widely available and easily to get now than the uh, Necker versions which were much larger but they, they're fantastic in their own right and these are simply outstanding for their scale very very impressive it highly recommended just trying to get shoulder cannon sorted anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this review please like share and subscribe and bye for now